Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm taking you to Minneapolis to Art Starts Art Scraps. This is a creative reuse store that is part of a larger nonprofit. So Art Start is a nonprofit. Art Scraps is the store. I was traveling to Minneapolis and looked this up. Whenever I'm going to a new city, I always like to look for creative reuse. If you think there isn't one near you, reach out to me. Let me know. I have posted a list of them before. This is inside the store. I found this store to be small but mighty. So that's the front part and then there's two aisles behind this display. One, two, and that's pretty much it. And yet every time I looked at a space I found something new. So the front part up here was lots of mixed media which you can't really bring home when you're traveling with just a carry-on because you have the liquids issues, right? So I usually skip that. Tons of paper, scrapbook paper, specialty paper, all kinds of ephemera. Look at all those old magazines for you journaler people. The quantities are deceiving here because I think this was like their sale area or something. So then there's another section with more. Now we're in the back of the store and I was just checking out the envelopes and different things. Again, space was a premium for me, so I wasn't interested in bringing home like a whole box of envelopes. It is nice to see the selection and so much variety. Just wandered around and looked at prices on things and the items that they had. They're wonderful, wonderful staff. In most of these creative reuse stores, the people, some of the people are volunteers, some are paid, and they're happy to be there and help. Look at all these luscious papers. Oh my gosh. I can tell you, I didn't bring home anything out of that bin. What was I thinking? Miles and miles of paper. And I'm going to show you the actual scrapbooking section too in much more depth. This area I just wanted you to see because, I don't know, maybe you like to make big posters or you're looking for journal covers. There you go. So this is a cute little display that was up near the front. And since I've only been there once, I don't know what sections rotate or how they look. Obviously, I didn't buy cards there. Little things of buttons. But again, that's not all the buttons in the store. Don't be fooled. Look at this. Paper on the bottom, paper, paper, and then there's office supplies down at the end. I spent probably an hour standing right here because there's three tubs of 12 by 12. And then when I started looking down there, that's all solid cardstock, which I didn't bring any home, but there was cool stuff behind it and next to it. When I'm traveling, I really have to say, okay, I can buy solid cardstock at home. I went through every one of these bins <laughs> page by page and had a great time doing it. And look at all of this stuff. There was an envelope punch board from Stampin' Up up there. I Look at all the stickers and ephemera. It's a tight space, so you really have to be a diligent, good shopper. I did not go through all these ephemera items. I just, it, it was so much. If you've shopped with me before, you know that I get worn out. I mean, look at it. That top shelf, every one of those bins was good stuff to me. Washi tape and all kinds of things. We're going to zoom in. I found another bin down there at the base. It said 12 by 12 solids and had some mixes. Really nice. I mean, whole packs of 12 by 12 cardstock. But again, that's heavy to bring home and you have to pick your battles. Okay, look in this cabinet. It was like, oh my gosh. I don't knit, but you know, I feel like maybe I should learn. A drawer of zippers. I think 10 cents a piece or 25. Piping, look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I looked through that drawer. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And in this store, it's really small. So there was stuff in other places. So if you're there and you can't find something, be sure to ask because I found another place that I thought was all they had for seam binding and lace and no. You know, it's like in your own craft room. You run out of space and you move. Look at all those buttons. Oh my gosh. I didn't look too much at the thread because I have a little bit of thread overload in my craft room, but I liked it that it was sorted by color. I thought that was very nice. 
Sometimes in these stores, I like to look at just what is there that's weird. Shells, dice, pins, all kinds of stuff that I might not buy, but is interesting to look through. Poker chips, dominoes. A lot of people do projects with dominoes these days. Jewelry and different things. This whole thing is paint, glue, mixed media goodness, art pencils, brushes. I mean, I could bring home pencils and brushes, but I usually skip mixed media stuff when I'm traveling. Beads. There were tons of beads in here. I have very limited jewelry making skills, so I didn't look at those too much. Lots of stuff for little kids to play with. It's just fun to wander around. So this must be like their, you know, spring Easter display section. So that part probably rotates quite a bit. And I'm sorry that we're going in circles, but that's really how I shop. Like <laughs> I do a run through this little section in here. I did look through quite a bit. There were little wooden bits and bobs and different things in there that I thought, you know, you have to look through them. That's pretty smart to have a kid's display at that height, isn't it? When I go through a place like this, I have to go back over and over and over on each aisle. Okay, so I did look in the embellishments a little bit. And at this point, I shopped a whole bunch before I turned the camera on. I've gone back by and looked at stuff again. I probably should have taken that bin down. Lots of times at Creative Reuse, you just need to take the whole bin off the shelf and dig through it because they're not really set up to allow you to see everything. At Mecca in Eugene, Oregon, I saw somebody else do that and I thought, I'm going to do it, but they have a table there. Look at that photo play stuff. Really neat stuff. I don't have a shortage of things, but you know, you never know. You're saving the planet, so you should buy whatever you want. <laughs> Since I was traveling, I was also looking for little projects and things to do while I was traveling. So I think I probably looked at things differently than I did. Oh, penguins. So much stuff in there. Look at it. It just goes on and on. And you can get really good deals and maybe find embellishments to old paper. Like there might have been some old basic gray stuff in there. Cigar rings. Okay. I didn't know people kept those. I don't know what you do with them, but they'd look cool in ephemera because they're bright and they have the gold accents on the paper and stuff. When I went down this aisle, I had to really look at it over and over. And again, you know, just checking it out. Ooh, embroidery floss, mending yarn, make cool things. Little fabric scraps for 10 cents. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it was a really fun store. And it wasn't... It wasn't always logical. So if you go there, just be sure you look all around because this stuff is not near the other button aisle and the other sewing stuff. So again, they just ran out of space. They put it where they had to put it. Always ask. I found tool in a whole bunch of different spots too. I was thinking about this for journals, right? It's that like stretchy stuff. Belts, journal covers, maybe lots of ribbon, all sorts of different ribbon, some wired, some, you know, cute little ribbons for card making. Look at that stuff. It's brand new rolls still in the package and matching. And then look at that roll right there. What is that? Like a giant lace roll. Why didn't I buy that one? I don't know what to tell you. I'm not good at shopping and filming. It's very hard. Mm, elastic bits, shoelaces. See, there's a spot of tool right there. <laughs> As a card maker or a journal maker, I only use about four square inches at a time. So a whole roll is actually a pretty big commitment. It might be another year before I finish the roll I have. But I do like to look because every once in a while I've seen those ones that have patterns or like gold foiling or something on the tool. Another box of it just goes on forever. Cute little ribbons. And I thought it was funny, like I would have put these by the paper crafting, right? The little tiny overpriced rolls. Admit it, you've bought one before. I have. I know I have. 
Okay, stained glass. That's one thing I have not gotten into, and I don't think I'll go there. Pine cones. I think Noni loves pine cones. Those are like little uh, travel baby wipe things, so kind of handy for crafters. Do you want an old trophy? I don't know what you do with those. Cross stitch, embroidery canvas. And normally I wouldn't spend a lot of time looking at cross stitch, but sometimes in these creative reuse places, I find those cute little kits. And when it says 25 and 50 cents, oh, I'm in. I looked through that bin. I don't know if you get to look. I guess not. <laughs> okay, look at these. This entity is a partnership with manufacturing too. They're trying to keep cut down on waste. So they have like big plastic bottles and stuff. Puzzle pieces, pop tabs. Have you ever done projects with those? Clothes pins. A lot of stuff for teachers too. Golf tees. Okay, that one surprised me. I was like, huh, I don't know what you do with those. Little plastic spoons. I'd use those for crafty stuff. Spools. Caster wheels. That's funny. Mr. Crafting and Relaxing bought some of those today, I think. The empty ribbon things. So you could load your own stuff onto them, I guess. Juice lids. Now, if you live near here, don't get inspired by this video and take them a big pile of stuff. There are usually rules and you want to call and ask what they have available. Sometimes these kind of places fill up. Look at all the magazines and books. Maps. Oh my gosh. I walked towards them and then I was like, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I love maps. But I buy maps faster than I create with maps because I use them for journal covers mostly or the inside. They're just so cute. I don't know what all that stuff is. I don't think we need it. Leather scraps. I know that Scrap PDX has a bunch of that stuff too. Uh, blank cards, greeting cards. I usually skip those, but if you were looking for certain images or stuff to make ephemera with, that's another idea. Lots of cards. This section was crowded when I got there, so I really didn't give this section a good look. Postcards, two for 25 cents. My mom collects them. I probably should have done a better job there. Photos, 10 cents. Black and white photos, a dollar. Those are good prices. All this stuff on the top shelf, 10 cents, 20 cents. I was thinking they should put some of that by the front register because I really wanted to look in it, but it was up high. It was kind of hard to get to. And literally when I came, there were a couple of people standing there. So I think this is kind of a, you know, hot area. Look at those. This place had so much good stuff, but I really had to catch myself and say, okay, what do I already have that I haven't unpacked? I don't think I bought that, but I probably should have, right? A picture of a train? It was cool. So these little tiny things up here on the shelf, they were just full of all sorts of great goodness. Oops, don't worry. I'm sure I put it back. Okay. So really, really fun stuff. And I like the way they had them sorted out, not packaged in like big journaling kits. I've been to a couple other places that let you just dig through and get what you want, and that's great. Mini graphics, 10 cents. I mean, this whole section, space is at a big premium for them, but they could put some of this on the counter and like double the price probably. Because <laughs> I'm not going to look at it and go, no, I'm not going to pay an extra dime. Old slides, records. I didn't know what to do with these. Double sticky sheets. Are these like for us for die cutting? Do you guys use the 3M ones? I looked at this and thought, I'm pretty sure I should buy some of these. But I didn't really know. Do you guys buy those? Isn't it just the same as the adhesive that I buy on the rolls? You know what I'm talking about. You do. No need does. Or you can get it from scrapbook.com. You can get it lots of places. Okay. I slowed this way down because we're looking in the back of the row. So same aisle we've been on the whole time. I went down this aisle three times before I noticed this whole thing of scissors back there. And I never thought to pull them down and look at them because until I was talking just now, I didn't realize they're not all the, you know, wavy kind. Like there are some there that are straight blades and you might find some oldies but goodies in there. Scraps of papers, doilies for 20 cents. Never saw that till just now. Those things are giant. Probably would have looked. I think I was sidetracked by the car. There was old car stuff in, up in the front too, but I haven't really been doing any car themed stuff. 
In a place like this, I don't think you can spend too much time. Even I spent a couple hours. So I went to this place on a Friday afternoon by myself and just soaked it up. Yeah, I should have gotten some of those big doilies. Those are cool. They're like the placemat kind of ones. Like in a restaurant. Do you remember those? I don't know if they still have those. A thing of photo corners. I don't really use a lot of those. Maybe you do. Decorative brads and grommets. We know that I don't need more of them. I did take a peek. I mean, you have to know, right? And then that's washi tape on the left. Prices, they're so good. 75 cents for a thing of them, right? 25 cents. Look at all that washi. I did peek. Look at those blue glittery. Step away from the washi tape. Leave it for people who don't have as much. So we're back at the cigar rings. And like I said, I just went back and forth on this aisle. I mean, you saw the store. It's not big. And here we're doing an in-depth dive up front on the rack with paint brushes, erasers. I was really impressed at the quality of some of the supplies that they had. I mean, they were selling stuff. That eraser that they just showed, I have that eraser and I love it. Puffy paint. All kinds of stuff. Some of that stuff, I don't know what it is, and I don't know if I would ever need it. Lots of paint. But, like I said, I don't look through that a lot because, you know, I'm not going to bring home a giant piece of glass either. I was impressed. Look, there's golden stuff donated there. Golden stuff is not cheap. Not at all. Oh, speaking of alls, look, there's a section of them. Did I say it right, Noni? <laughs> They're not like the fly flying birds. And those Bombay inks, those are fun too. If you have any of those or if you just... This is a really great way to try products, right? At a creative reuse, just pick one up. That's that tub of beads that we went by earlier. Just giving you a better look. Then this section over here, oh my gosh. I wandered through it a couple of times, but it was a lot a lot to take in and some of the stuff I didn't know what it was or what I would do with it and I know if you're doing like charms or if you want stuff hanging from your journals bins like this are a great way to pick that stuff up because you have so many options or if you make jewelry I think a lot of this stuff was there were really cool things in there to make jewelry, and yet they were beyond my skill level. Look at all the goodness. Crystals. I'm not into like home decor or anything that big, but cool. Look at the charms. 20 cents to a dollar for charms. I want you guys to know I did not bring this home. One says joy, one says hope, one says love, and I just thought, mm, no. I looked at them and thought about it. I'm not great at connecting and dangling and attaching things. And sometimes I just forget. Like I'm in the process of making journals right now. I just made another one last week. I didn't think to attach any charms to them. There's literally nothing hanging in the book. Maybe I'll think about that better. <laughs> I just forget. But if you get the chance, look for creative reuse that is not a term that I knew until I really got into these stores. You know, I don't think it ever works to, to Google craft thrift store. But if you Google creative reuse store, you should get some options. Oh, I thought this was super cool because they had jewelry making tools. And I looked at a creative reuse store to find some before and I didn't find any. So look for a store near you. If you want help finding one, you can always message me. I am happy to help. And I'm going to show you my haul later this week. It was super fun. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.